Hey, it's Ryan Cavino from Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the market update for the week ending December 8th, 2010, almost at the end of the year here. And um, in Wilmington this week, we had two new properties, five go under agreement and one sold. So let's take a look at these two new properties. One's 379 and actually this property on Ashwood Ave has been on for a while and it just came back on so it was tried at um for quite some time at 659 ultimately being canceled on that december 4th coming back on today with a lower price uh, and then this thrush road is a true new to the market came on came on on the december 5th it's a uh very big ranch about 1900 square feet three bedrooms one and a half bath it uh currently being used as a two bedroom So we had five going to agreement, and this property, a couple of them have been on for a while. 229 days, this is on Route 129, and uh, list price 199, it's a, really a, um, very low for Wilmington. I think it, if it wasn't bank owned, it was certainly distressed, and there was some problems, and they um, put in a, had to put in a new septic system. But if you're looking through the pictures with me here, you can certainly see that uh, it has been painted, and... Uh, a little bit of updates and also this one on Grove Ave is a, a nice split with um, you can see the hair you know a nice yard next like a central air conditioning and if we can get inside here we have a lot of space and this was uh, 264 is when it went under agreement we also got one canal 295 369 and 46 um, Agostino at 539. So you can see right around 339, 333.9 is the average under agreement price, which is pretty uh, good for Wilmington. We see it usually a little bit higher than that, but that's um, right around uh, what the average, about 30, 40 grand less than what the average usually is if we, we go back and we'll add all the actives in. And then this five ballad veil sold for 279. And this has been on the market for a while. I'm not quite sure if it was bank owned. It was. Certainly these pictures show that there's people living in it at the time the pictures were taken. And this is pretty cool. You got the media room down here. Take a, take a look at that, that uh, big projection screen. Nope. No disclosures about being bank owned or anything. So let's throw in all the actives from Wilmington. See what we got. We got about 60 some odd more properties come on. And we'll go all the way down here and we'll take a look in the average list price is 436 so it's off by about 100,000 well, we got some skewers right here like this property for 1.49 million it's really an anomaly for Wilmington um, you can see that right around the sixes is where we start to top out here um, the average market time is 151 days now you can see that the under agreement prices this week are about hundred thousand dollars less and they took just about 30 days less so you would think that with the huge discrepancy of almost a hundred thousand would take less time but today is not the case and you can see that the days on market for the two top ones on Lowell and Grove did kind of mess with that a little bit you can see that uh, 21 days for the property if that was 295 60 days for the one that was 539 86 days for the one that was 369 which is uh, 160 divided by 3 is right around uh, 50 some on 53 so that is um, that is, you know, a, a good thing to see when the when the average is a little bit less um, than the actives. The market time is a little bit less as well. Not so much for our sole property this week. This one, you know, it's located right across from the North Intermediate School too, and has really quick access to Route 93. It's right around the corner. You may be able to hear it if you really pay attention to it, but it's about a quarter mile away from the highway, and uh, it took 229 days to sell. So that is your market update for Wilmington, Mass. The week ending December 8th. And um, if you have any questions, you can give me a shout at ryan at ryancavino.com. Talk to you soon.